Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial for Motion Symphony for Unreal Engine 4. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can install the plugin and start using it with uh, the Unreal Editor. However, before we do that, I want to point out all the support structures and documentation that you have access to to help you with your Motion Symphony journey. It's a very common misconception that motion matching and, and all this stuff is, is a one-click solution. You click a button and it just works. And while sometimes that might be the case, especially once you are used to it, there is a big learning curve and it might take some time to get used to it. So please manage your expectations in that sense. However, do see the documentation that I've provided. I've gone through a lot of effort to provide very comprehensive documentation along with these videos to help you on your journey. Uh, this has got information on how to install the plugin, about how to do bug reports and get support. I've even got things about understanding motion matching and it's kind of like a, almost like a uni lecture on how it works. So this is not just a manual of what button to press in the editor. This is quite comprehensive. If you understand motion matching, you can control motion matching better and you can debug it better. It's not quite as black and white as a state machine where you're in one state and then you transition to another. It's a bit more uh, complicated and if you understand it, then you can easily uh, debug it and figure out what is going wrong. So please check out this documentation. If you ask me any questions that are already in this documentation, I'm probably just gonna link you here or repeat it. Uh, so please do yourself a favor, check this all out. There's also an FAQ at the end, which has a lot of questions that I'm asked, like uh, is Motion Symphony a, a character locomotion system? Well, no, it's a it's an animation system. Um, so it's got nothing to do with movement. Like things like that, people often get misconceptions. Uh, does it work with quadrupeds? Probably. Uh, have a look at these and see what you think and decide if Motion Symphony is for you even. So the other things we have is the example project. Now this is an example project minus the plugin. So this doesn't actually have the plugin in it. Um, but you can download this project and install the plugin uh, and activate it in this project to get some examples of how to use the motion matching nodes and stuff. It comes with a bunch of animations that I recorded myself. These are fully mocapped uh, uh, um, animations that are made for motion matching. Um, so you can see how I've set that up in the blueprints and, and in the motion data editor and all that. So have a look at that at some point once you've gotten a little bit more familiar with things. Uh, additionally, there is a GitHub repository for the source code for Motion Symphony. If you want access to this, then you need to send me an email. So this is the support email on the uh, marketplace. You need to ha give me a copy of your uh, invoice so that I can verify your purchase. And then I will send you an invite um, to this GitHub repository. Here you'll be able to submit issues, you'll be able to do pull requests or clone it. The only thing you can't do is redistribute it, of course. So uh, that is um, that. Is that. Uh, links are gonna be in the description for all of that stuff. Uh, there's one more thing is the Discord channel. Um, a Discord server for this. This is kind of a community support place. Uh, I will be on there. However, it's more for you know, other for developers that are using Motion Symphony to talk to each other and spread ideas and help each other out. Um, and I'll uh, answer the occasional question uh, as there as well. So, without further ado, let's uh, install Motion Symphony and get going. So, if we go to our library in the Epic Games launcher, this we're going to install this first through the launcher and then I'm going to show you also uh, through the source if, you, if you've if you got the source from GitHub. We're going to go to our vault. This is after we've purchased and I'm, I'm going to just search for a plugin. Now, this is my other plugin because my uh, Motion Symphony isn't yet published as of making this video. So, I'm just going to show you this as an example. We click install to engine, we choose our engine version and we hit install and then it'll download and install. Keep in mind, Motion Symphony, at least at first release, only supports 4.26, not 4.25. Um, that might change later, maybe not. Either way, we install it and then we open our project. And in our project, we go to edit plugins and we find our Motion Symphony. So we can either type it here, Motion Symphony, there it is, or it'll be on the side here. Now, if you installed it through the, the um, the Epic Launcher, it'll be under installed, uh, so here. But because my project here is using the source, it's actually down the bottom here, and we just enable it. So we want this checked, but what will happen is when we check it, we'll get this here. Just hit restart after checking it. 
and uh, the editor will restart and Motion Symphony will be ready to go. If you're not interested in Source, you can finish the video here. You're ready to go on the next tutorials. Okay, so if you're using Source, um, we need to navigate to our project. And if you don't already have it, uh, create a plugins folder. So you might already have a plugins folder. If you do, just go into it. Otherwise, create your own. And we want to copy the source code for Motion Symphony in here. So if you're using the GitHub, you could just clone it into this folder here. We need to then right click on a project and go generate Visual Studio project files. This will take a little bit of time, but nothing too crazy. And then uh, we can either launch it through our editor uh, through the IDA by opening this up and hitting play, or we can just uh, open the project. It'll ask us, do we want to recompile? And we say yes, um, and that'll take some time. Now, once we're in here, we need to again, go to the plugins and this time it'll definitely be down here. We check it, we restart and we're ready to go. Uh, again, have a look at the documentation, please. Uh, and, and all the other supporting um, stuff that I've put out there, the documentation, the videos, the Discord, the, the example project, all the links are going to be in the description. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial.